Africa is changing again in 2025. And if you don't know what's happening, you may miss out on your chance at getting into medical school. So here's what you need to know to stay ahead. Hi, I'm Ampreet. I'm a presenter here at the Aspiring Medics and a medical student at the University of Birmingham. Today, we're going to go through the main changes that may be happening with the UCAT this year. So I'll be going through what the UCAT is, the main changes we may be expecting, and finally, what you need to do to stay ahead. So what is the UCAT? The UCAT is the University Clinical Aptitude Test that is sat by almost 40,000 aspiring medical and dentistry students almost every year. And this test is used by almost every medical school in the UK and it tests your ability to reason as opposed to your academic knowledge, which would have been tested by the previous BMAT test that was used by Oxbridge, Brighton Sussex Medical School. However, it's now been scrapped and almost every medical school uses the UCAT test. And it has four main sections. It has the verbal reasoning section, the decision-making section, the quantitative reasoning section, and finally the situational judgment test. And the first three sections can give you a total number of points of 2,700 points. And the situational judgment test is, is divided into four bands, one, two, three, and four, one and two being the best scoring bands, and three and four not so much. And in terms of what content these domains consist of, the decision-making domain tests your ability to evaluate logic and arguments. The verbal reasoning section tests your ability to comprehend a written text. The quantitative reasoning section assesses your ability to interpret numerical data and solve problems using very simple maths. And finally, the situational judgment tests your ability to evaluate potential situations that you may come across as a medical student or as a doctor. So what is actually changing in 2025? So the current changes are very speculative and nothing has been officially announced, but there are some changes that we are foreseeing. I hope you know the abstract reasoning section was scrapped in December 2024, but the there are some timing changes that we are foreseeing. We may have shorter sections or that might mean we have less questions or we have less time to answer these questions. So currently the verbal reasoning section consists of 44 questions that you have to answer in 22 minutes. The decision making section is 35 questions you answer in 37 minutes and the quantitative reasoning section is 36 questions in 26 minutes. Additionally, we may also see some tweaks in the format of the decision making, the quantitative reasoning sections, in how they're worded or their content. And finally, the biggest change that we are foreseeing is the changes in the banding for the situational judgment test as it is becoming more weighted. So what does this actually mean for you? How should you adapt? So this means that you need to practice under time conditions a lot sooner. You need to focus on your speed and strategy as opposed to your perfection, especially if it means that you're going to have less time to answer a lot of questions. So please, for that reason, use updated mocks and use official practice materials. And finally, since the SJT is becoming more weighted, professionalism is becoming a bigger focus in selection for medical school. Please do check out our other videos on medical ethics, particularly for interviews, to get a better understanding of this. That was a quick overview of the changes that we're seeing in the UK for 2025. I hope you've learned something and you're able to take away some key points on how you're going to change your revision for the UCAT test this year. Please do like and subscribe this video to see more content like this.